Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And we are going to play more of Halloween Chronicles, Evil Behind a Mask, which is the second one. And she is Aut Punk. So let's start playing. Halloween! Halloween is awesome. All right, here we go. There they are. Okay. Oh, this is a cave that doesn't look like a cave. I remember that much. What do we have? Medallion runes, an oil can, a match, an S-shaped hook. Oh, and we had just gotten the tomahawk. I remember that. And, oh, and we can go through here. And that is, it's a funnel. Who went through all that trouble to board up that hole to hide a funnel? I don't remember what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, we're supposed to be getting rid of the skeletons. And we needed a funnel. I know we needed a funnel, but I don't understand why they locked one up there. I also don't know what this is going to do. Oh, it opened the door. Okay, that's fair. Pocket watch. It's a dirty pocket watch. Okay. Can't I use my hand? to get rid of the dirt? No? All right. Oh, we have the three things. They go over here. Dude. Zombies are reanimated by outside forces. They're just corpses without any soul or free will. This spell will return their souls to their bodies, allowing them to relent for a few moments. That seems mean. Whoa, what is this? Do I just go over here and point it at them? Apparently I do. Okay. No. Uh, that won't work. Doesn't work? No, close though. Come on. Like this? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that means, but sure. Alright, this one needs a spider and I'll get an app. Totally did that on purpose. Totally did that on purpose. Oh, I love that song. That is an awesome song. Total that was 100% skill. I have water. It was because I was yelling. To keep this place clear of strangers. I was talking. Okay. Yes, I, I know. The rest of the musical isn't that song. Did that Banshee just light stuff on fire with her voice? I don't think that's a thing Banshees can do. Yes, correct. Wow, what does that say? Hom Mune Rulus. Oh, Homoculi. A creature that looks like a miniature human. Humoculi are created by their powerful masters solely to serve them. If their masters lose even a bit of their power, the humoculi will die. I don't remember them having to be small. Don't they just have to be like made of used to be alive stuff or alive stuff? I think it's alive stuff. Don't they have to start as alive? You think they're normally small? Okay. Fireflies! And a box. What is this? These glowing insects will be of great help. How can I catch them? I don't know. What is that? A bookmark. Okay. Um, so I have a match and a rope. Why... Why isn't that lighting? Okay, whatever. A boot! It's too dark, I wouldn't dare. Yeah, that's fair. Game is kind of creepy. Yeah, like, there's all kinds of rocks here, too. Matter of fact, if you look really closely, 
I think you'll see some fire that I could light the match on. But nope. Do I need to use a boot to do that? Really? Oh my gosh. And inside the box is rope and makeup removal wipes. Or baby wipes. One or the other. Wet wipes, yeah. Okay. Why do I even even need to go with- Oh, because we need water for the fire. I knew that. Oh, there was a bucket already in there. With a staple remover in it. Sure, why not? And now the fire is out. Hooray! This is interesting. Look, wooden stake will neutralize a vampire. A silver stake will kill a vampire. That's not true. Vampires are able to resurrect themselves, but not after a silver stake has been driven into its heart. A stake will kill anyone. Yes, a wooden stake will work perfectly fine on a vampire. A silver stake seems a bit excessive. I already knew this, but it's handy information to keep in mind. There's somebody in the box. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have a broken crossbow. Oh, it's missing the, uh, the wire. I should clean, load, and light the can in order, order to break through the wall. Why do I have to break through the wall? Something looks funny. I bet there's a hidden cache. If you think there's something hidden behind the wall, shooting a cannon at it is probably not the best idea. Are you really going to keep banging until I open your coffin? Oh my gosh. Several skulls are missing. Okay. Oh, that's so irritating. I'm missing gears. Oh, I bet I could use this. It's the beating of the hideous heart. <laughs> uh, we need to fix the lever. Can I use the silver? Oh, wait. I bet I can use a stupid umbrella. Oh my gosh, we're doing this again. See if you recognize this. How are we going to attach that? How are we going to attach it, everyone? Bet you don't know if you didn't see the first video. With a staple gun! <laughs> That's not how staple guns work. Or physics, for that matter. Oh, good, the noise stopped. All right, so we need four birds, four fish, and four humans. I assume they mean skulls. You're not a fish. That's a frog! Frogs aren't fish! <sighs> frogs aren't fish. No, frogs are not fish. Frogs are not fish at all. Why do I want this? Jaws. Okay. Fish the jump. Am I using these to pull the nails out? Yes, I am. Unbelievable. So who's in the box? Nobody. Lame. I'll stab him in the heart to be safe? He's already stabbed! All right, why can't I stab him in the heart? Th oh, I had to move the cloth. That's not how vampires work. Also, don't I want to keep the spike just in case? What is this? A screwdriver set? Why did the vampire be get buried with a screwdriver set? In his mouth. I mean, I've heard of putting bricks in vampires' mouths before. But not screwdriver sets. I've lost my train of thought because this game is ridiculous. Okay, we can, oh wait, we have to catch the fireflies first. Fireflies, or lightning bugs, depending. 
on where you live, I guess. They're the same, but there's, yeah, there's got to be a joke in there somewhere. Oh, I thought I was going to... What is this now? All right, you need to move. Thank you. Okay. I think the fireflies would have been much more useful if they'd stayed in the jar like a lantern. But whatever. They don't seem to have done that much. Okay. I'll use my shiny magnetism to open it. Really? I don't eat. I have no idea where we are at all. This is near the town, as far as I remember. I actually don't remember. <laughs> the boogeyman's weakness is a lack of fears to prey upon, so it's important not to be afraid of anything around him. That's fair. And actually makes sense. The mask lacks a part. Oh, do we have a tweezer like implement? Nope. Oh, can we use that cloth to wipe this off though? A bed sheet. That'll be a rope. See the invisible. Okay. Oh, I guess this goes on here. And a flint and steel hidden inside the picture. Why? Yep, I was right. Except I think we have to attach it to this. Oh, I can use the wet wipes to wash off the pocket. Watch. I suppose that works. And a screwdriver to open it, though I don't know why we want to open up the pocket watch. Okay. These gears are so much smaller than the ones we need for in here. Check this out. Look at how big those are. That's a bat. These came out of a pocket watch. These are probably the size of the tip of your fingers. That would be cool. I was trying to convince one of my kids to uh, be a steampunk uh, type person for Halloween and they didn't like that plan. They despise loud noises. Can't I just yell at it then? No, I didn't think so. I mean, I could light it on fire too, but I guess that would be mean. Yeah, I need to clean that out first. What is, where is this supposed to go? I don't remember seeing any place that needed mosaic tiles. No yelling, no hands. Oh, there they are. That's a pretty picture. With a skull inside. And what is that, wire? Fishing line. You wanna bet? You can't use fishing line for crossbow wire. All right, we need an arrow or something now. Apparently we're gonna go with, you actually need an arrow to shoot these because in the last one we just stuck the, uh... I've lost the word, what the hell is this called? Grappling hook. We just stuck the grappling hook to the front of the crossbow and shot it like that, which is not a thing you can do. All right. Where? Okay, we need to be over here. Okay. Oh. That would probably work. Crossbow trigger. We're going to have this discussion again. Triggers on weapons are not a tiny separate part that just sticks into a little slot. There are actually pieces that go through the machine and are like connected to stuff. Oh, we're not going to put an arrow on it. We are just going to connect. You can't shoot. Oh, 
you can't shoot a crossbow with a grappling hook on it. You need to attach an arrow to the grappling hook. And that probably wouldn't even work as well as you think it would. What you need is a shooter for a crossbow. And why do we need to go in this house? Hey, that changed color. That was red when we had it in our inventory. Now that the box of tears is finally mine, I give you the honor of sacrificing yourself and becoming the key to open it. Um, oops, I accidentally clicked the hit button. Well, that's real nice of him. Oh no, Dad! I guess I don't want the book. Broken clock. Who is that? That man was really afraid of the boogeyman. I think that red I was supposed to be reading something and I didn't. Have to find statue symbols to open the doors. Okay. What is that brush? Don't mind me, I'm just wandering around here trying to stop you. In the Monster Hunter's Order, I used to spend time creating different devices for saving precious things from monsters. Time only bothers people, as monsters are indifferent to it. They never come close to clocks. What? So the best hiding place against monsters is a clock. What? What? Monsters don't use clocks Fine, monsters don't use clocks, but that doesn't mean they're not going to look inside a clock if they're looking for something. It's not like they're afraid of clocks. That makes very little sense. Okay, what did I get? A whistle. Oh, the whistle's for the bat, and the ramrod is for the cannon. I mean, I can whistle. I'm pretty sure. You need to pack that in, too, you know. And I have flint and steel. Boom. Oh, and look at that. Didn't break any of the very delicate things behind the wall. Why do I need a flower? That's very pretty. Okay. Oh, I still need two more skulls. I have a broken clock face. Which I need another piece for. These, the tree and the flower must be for the the two people at the door. Yep. Oh, it's a little ghost cupcake. Oh, and there's dad. And clown mask and puppy dog and a bird. And a loot and an apple. And a voodoo doll. Watermelon. That watermelon actually looks really good. Bone saw. Flowers. E candle. Mirror. Rain. Okay, what do I got left? I got three left, huh? Okay. Oh, there's a cane. Let's see. Do 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 bird. There's a tie. Let's see here. The key on the book is different, is it? No, it's not. Not different. It's just pointing the other way. It's mirror image. So they're gonna oh, this is different color. I wasn't looking for color. That's all good. Okay. Oh, there's a crack. There we go. I would be really freaked out if I went in a room and everything was the mirror image of the stuff on the other side. A bestiary book. Ooh, that sounds cool. Couldn't I just have moved that book down here? 
This chapel is my last fortress for fighting the boogeyman. Okay, and I... That's a cat's eye? That looks like a quartz crystal. Oof. Am I supposed to find these in an order or just find them in general? I guess in general. Oh no, they turn dead when you look at them. That looks like a clown. Okay, and now we have all the skulls. Oops. Go away. For the chandelier. Is the place that has the whole church decorated in bones with like chandeliers and everything, is that in Italy or France? I seem to remember it being one or the other. I can't remember which one. I can't remember what it's called, though, either. People really didn't have anything to do with their time back in those days. Yay, I fixed it! Rich Emmanuel's Magic Amulet. Which I suppose I just point at them? Okay. Then what have we here? Select an available empty spot to move the token in a given direction across the field. All cells must be filled without crossing any of them twice. This is a very big one of these to have to do. I think you know that was gonna do this one. Okay. I think I already messed up. Maybe probably I messed up. Dang it! No, I don't care. I was. No! You defeated the Lord of the Nightmares and saved us all. Your great grandfather Seymour would have been proud of you. Oh, I forgot about Seymour. What's this? This game was significantly shorter than the first one. Unless I am miscalculating how long we played the last one. Like, I seem to remember we did three whole sessions for the first game, didn't we? Huh. Well, I guess we can do the bonus episode for this one then. Maybe we will get all of them done before, uh, Halloween. <laughs> I forgot the word for Halloween. <laughs> oh my gosh. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Soon. You know, I went to the grocery store today and I didn't buy any candy corn. Aren't you guys proud of me? I didn't. Not even one candy corn. I did buy cookies and a bunch of other stuff, but I did not buy candy corn. Of course, I also forgot to buy candy to give out on Halloween, but... Hey, you're supposed to be gaming. You're not supposed to be, um... Observating. Wait, what? No, I'm allowed to buy cookies! It was for the kids, mostly. I had a pumpkin cookie. It was... it was a white pumpkin. Sugar cookie. It was good. I am allowed to have a cookie. Who on you? Oh, well, I mean, that's probably for the best anyways. If the candy was here, I would probably eat it. So, or somebody else would eat it. We tend to buy our candy really close to Halloween these days. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of people worked on this. Just waiting for it to finish. Yay! Okay. 
We saved Dad! Yay! Alright, let's see what's in the extras. So we have wallpaper. Yeah, this is... So let's take a look at this vampire for a minute. How come all of the other people, like the skeleton dude, he's in like traditional skeleton dude clothes. Why is this dude in a leather jacket and a long sleeve turtleneck? <laughs> she had a pretty cool costume. That was pretty neat. I think the knife in her hat is a little silly, but. Yeah, she's like in traditional clothes too. From what we do in shadows, he does look like a character from what we do in shadows. Oh, there's Frankenstein that we just left in the amusement park. Really nice of us. Ah, this must be for the next part. Apparently they didn't lock those bits. Okay, let's see. Figurines. Oh, we missed some figurines. Seder, a griffin. A what? Gammayan? A creature that looks like a bird with the head of a beautiful woman. Gamayans Gem visit the world of humans in order to help them with romantic problems. Interesting. I know I've seen that animal before. There's a hippocamp. What is this? Kaiji Muna. This creature resembles a merry little gingerbread boy. They don't really like to help anyone out. They prefer fooling around while without causing any trouble. That's supposed to look like a gingerbread boy. Okay. Unicorn. Hamadryad. Hamadryad? Look like beautiful women when they are born. They are bonded to a certain tree. They're friendly to most people and sometimes give people gifts such as various fruits and nuts. That's a centaur, that's an elf, and that is a dragon. What did we miss? Some sort of big bird, a mermaid, a pegasus, well, winged horse, a fairy, and a daijin. Okay, there's a bonus chapter. Did we get any achievements? Aw, oh, we don't have an achievement room. I'm not looking through all that. This is the music. No, 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 I do not want to download any of it. What is that noise that sounds like something flapping its wings? These are the mini games. How's the concept art? This is the concept art. This looks just like the actual game that has a filter over it. Yeah, this is literally just the actual game pictures with filters over it. That's not what concept art is, guys. Book of Monsters, Vampire, Kraken, Basilisk. These are the ones that we already read all of. Yep. Yep, okay, we already read all of those. We can watch the videos over again. No, thank you. And this is the hidden object puzzles. Boy, a trophy room. Oh, I get to buy stuff. What should I buy? I wanna buy a Minotaur. There's a minotaur and ooh, a sarcophagus. That sounds cool. And a gargoyle. It does sound like something's flapping its wings, right? I don't know! That's what it sounds like. Like there's a dragon outside the window or something, right? I'm not crazy. Like, there's nothing in here that's moving. All right, well, I'm getting tired of that noise, so let's just uh, move on to the next thing. Oh, you're back. Is this from me? Thank you, darling. What's in the box? You should have yielded Pandora's box to me when I asked. This is your last chance. Obey me, or I'll kill your wife! Was he gonna give his wife Pandora's box?
That's a really terrible gift. You have to reach the top of the scarecrow. Or I could knock it over. Ooh, those berries look poisonous. <laughs> yeah, no, you need two of those. Yeah, like, there's not only one story, like the original one. There are lots of stories about Pandora's box. What does this say? Louis Lupin. The heir to one of the oldest and richest families in town spent his entire fortune trying to cure his daughter of her constant nightmares. Well, that sucks. Nightmares are not fun. An owl. I remember Scarlet hid the spare key somewhere with her roses. Okay, so let's make the pruner's shears. Okay. Yeah, those vines are definitely poisonous. Pretty flowers! Oh. Okay, we need bellflowers, buttercups, chamomile, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, lily of the vi valley, and violets. And I can't talk. There's a bellflower. And a chrysanthemum. What am I looking for? Buttercups? Buttercups are so cool. I love buttercups. Ah, uh, there's the chrysanthemum. Lily of the valley. That's my birth flower. That's the flower for the month of May. I actually have some in my yard. That's not a violet, unless it's a different kind of violet that I know of, than the ones I know of. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, because you need to find stuff? That, that didn't look like violets to you, did it? A bat! Bats are cute. Bats are sky puppies. Are you taking her? Leave Mrs. Olsen alone, you lunatic. Mind your own business. A frail housemaid is no match for me. Did he just kill her? He tried to. I have to lift the chandelier. I mean, I think she could probably get out of that on her own. But which won't work without the wires? What is going on in there? Okay, sure. Look, it, it's it's back in ye olden days, and they have jack o' lantern um, string lights. Oh, that's a chandelier lover. Yielding fairy lights. <laughs> Use that? No, okay. Oh, I was already over there. What's over here? Why? Oh, the plant fell over. I could make a fuss, but I should probably go easy on the maid right now. Really? Don't be that big of a jerk, dude. Also, use your darn hands to dig through the tiny bit of dirt that's on your desk. Heaven's sakes. I just have to strike a spark. Okay. Family. Special screw requires more ingenuity. I don't know if there's anyone else fighting with monsters. I only know that there are monsters that are born through our fears and nightmares. Someone must protect the people from them. And I'm doing it just like my father and grandfather. Seymour. Okay. So, so what is going on here? A bullet is lodged in the amulet. Oh, he shot me. But it only hit my amulet. I see. Can I use the pirate hook? No. Okay, so she just gonna sit there and not try to get up or anything, huh?
That's barbed wire. Okay. This goes here. Oh, interesting. There's little doodads. Wait, just what? Hey. Over there. All right. This one goes there. And then, are there little ones under there too? Hang on. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay. All right, that is not any of those. Okay, and that's the last one, that's fine. What about this one? Okay, and that's the last one, good. All right, so I need one. This one goes here. And then I need a weird Z. And then a little face. And then I think that, oh, there's the H, okay. And I think that one, yep, is under there. Okay, and then I need whatever that diamond thing is. Barbed wire was invented in 1873? Really? What year are we in? Did you see how she got up? Thank you, Mr. Olsen. I got so scared when that rascal had broken into the house. I tried to stop him, but he's too strong. Please, save Mrs. Olsen. Here, I found the ring on the floor. If you don't mind, I need a day off after this. I don't think she needed to ask me nicely to save my own wife, but I guess it's nice of her. Oh no, it's he's bringing you again. Just accept it. I must save my daughter, and your wife is a small price to pay. Oh, this is the dude in the newspaper. I probably should have put that together before. I can break the lock. Sleeping potion. See, figure 13. It's gone. Cerberus. It's a three-headed dog spewing poisonous saliva. Some powerful conjurers summon the Cerberus as their servants. The only way to defeat one is to kill its conjurer. Cerberus is not a thing. Cerberus is like a specific animal, isn't it? Like, Pegasus isn't the name of winged horses. Pegasus is the name of a winged horse. Isn't Cerberus also the name of a specific three-headed dog monster thing? Pretty sure. Another leaf. Won't budge until I reattach the wheel. Well, there's the wheel. Danger acid from a spigot. That doesn't make any sense. Works perfectly, I can sharpen anything here. What about a pirate hook? No? Fine. Three times the puppy! Acid is just what the doctor ordered. Okay. I guess I need something to hold acid. That actually didn't give me anything I didn't already have. I'm gonna put the hook in here. Why do I need a pirate hook? That's a neat idea to do with a signet ring. Though I think that having something that raised on a ring would probably catch on stuff a lot. What is that? Atlas. Okay. Oh, I can use a scoop on the dirt. Or I could use my hands. A knife. A letter opener. Okay. Can I use that to pry the bullet out? Okay, good. And another leaf. And what is that? A silver stake! Okay, I guess I can probably use that to break this. Though I don't know why I couldn't just do that on the door to the to the barn. 
Something sharp would come in handy right about now. Like a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter would absolutely cut through that. Let's stab the old man. It wouldn't be the weirdest thing we'd done in these shows. That if you can get a bolt cutter around a piece of metal, you can cut the piece of metal. Hate to break it to you guys. Oh, I still can't sharpen the pirate hook. Okay, uh, now I have bolt cutters, which I can't use on that because it's electrified, and that would be a bad idea. What else is going on out here? Oh. Leaf and some money. Hidden in the gazebo. Oh, I got all the leaves, too. The truth is born in the fire. Oh, now I have to light it? Like on these candles, or that one, or any of these jack-o'-lanterns? No? If it can cut through barbed wire that thick, it can definitely cut through that lock. Why was that punk- or a pumpkin? Why was that jack-o'-lantern holding all that stuff? There we go. Invisible writing. Okay, so the full sun has to be up here and the full moon has to be down here. Now, how do I move these things around? I want them to go exactly the wrong way. Like I want this one to go over here, but that's not right. This one goes there, and this one goes over here. And these two, like that? No. That one goes there. That one goes there. That one goes there. See? I did it exactly backwards. I don't know why that puzzle makes my brain, like, stop. It's very weird. Because it doesn't look like it would make that big a difference, but I guess my dyslexia just does not want to have it. There are lots of crossbows in these games, too. Damaged bestiary. Okay. I guess that page didn't go in that book. Figure 13. Sleeping potion recipe. I can create this sleeping potion recipe here and add it to something tasty. Okay. I don't know why I need- stop that. I don't know why I need a sleeping potion. I also don't know why this dude has a barrel of acid hooked up to a spigot in his backyard. A bit weird, don't you think? Oh. You won't stop me from summoning the boogeyman. The Lord of Nightmares will fulfill my wish. Now. Let's see how you handle this! I don't think that's how Pandora's box works. I think once you open it, you're kind of... Okay. Take it easy, boy. Here we go. Where did I get? A dull knife. Fire puppy with, like, a chain on his neck? Kind of mean. Alright, I can prepare a sleeping potion here, but I don't have any of that stuff. The bottom of a rake and a salami. Well, I guess that's probably what I'm making with the sleeping potion. Oh, it's a find it game. That explain it. Item list. Okay, I was afraid I was going to have to read through the rip. Alright, I need a toadstool and an oak leaf and black pepper. That would be in the pepper grinder, but sure, whatever. Is that black pepper? Yeah, okay. A pear. How do you say that? The uh, isolus? Huh. 
July Solace. I don't know. I never heard of that one. Sugar. A violet flower. That is a violet. The other ones looked like pansies. Uh, what am I grading? Grated ginger. Where's the ginger? There it is. Ginger smells so good. Oh, I could go with some ginger cookies right now. My husband makes amazing ginger cookies. Okay, so we need like a brush or something to gather the pollen. There we go. They're triple ginger cookies. They're, they've got ginger powder, fresh ginger, and candied ginger. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I will include the recipe in the description because y'all have to try it. It's amazing. All right, let's see. Is that what this is? I guess that's what that is. It's one of those little paper lantern fruits. Can you use the honeycomb? I've never had real honeycomb before. That would be cool. I'm cutting up the onion. Oh, onion rings. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how all those things would taste together, but... All of those things individually sound like they would be good. No, we're not going to kill the dog. We're going to put the dog into a nice peaceful slumber and he'll get to eat a sausage. He will be a very happy monkey. Oh, that's right. Dogs can't eat onion. Don't feed your dog onion, guys. <laughs> You've gone too far. I won't hesitate to release the purest of evil. Then you and your wife will both die. This is your final warning. I've gone too far? You're trying to kill my wife, so I'm chasing you. How is that going too far? Look, more dirt I can't dig up with my hands. Okay, I probably wouldn't put my hand in the spider webs unless I absolutely had to. I'm not a big fan of spiders. Though I have gotten better in later years. What is this? Gasoline. Can I put gasoline in the later? Seems like a bad idea. I have to find a new wick. I have a new wick! I think you're supposed to pour the liquid into the lighter, not just dip the wick in it. That looks like copper wire. That's a lot of copper wire. That would be a decent amount of money. What on earth? Our firm got an order to demolish an old house. I do recommend you not to listen to silly rumors about all kinds of delivery going on. Oh, devilry, not delivery. <laughs> <clears throat> I do recommend you not listen to silly rumors about all kinds of devilry going on there. Prepare the equipment and start working. Rumors or not, I'd better take more dynamite. <laughs> Okay, maybe I can pull this nail out with that. Game is very weird. That is your life motto. <laughs> I can knock it down easily with my rapid accuracy. Oh, it's a toy crossbow this time. A whip. Whoa, wait, what was that? I could pick something up. I can pick up the lantern. Okay, uh, let's see, it's over here. I need a weird key or, oh, can I pick it with the nail? Wow, that was a sucky lock. Huh, nice little dilapidated garden you got here. Okay. Oh, that's the bestiary page. <gasps> Magic! Wait, I wanted to see what that looked like. Maybe someone could fly over and pull it close. I mean, in a perfect world, the net is too far away for me to reach. Can I whip it? 
Nope. Not whip it good. It's a perfect place for a serious read. So it's either Swamp Thing or Moldy Yeti. Is that supposed to be a manticore head? And then... Wow, I have no idea what that is. That's weird looking. Okay. So, I guess I have to make this picture and it'll turn up over here. Yeah, I, the, um, in the last game in the amusement park. Apparently they think that's a thing. And then... Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And the purple manticore dude is... In your face. Where's your head? There's. And then whatever that one at the bottom is. I mean, this kind of looks like gill-type fins, but I think he has hair? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Like, look, here's the outline of it without the face. What kind of animal is that supposed to be? A Medusa head. Whoa. Uh, let's see. Did we get anything useful? Eh. Right. Uh, are we going to use this to wipe away the dirt? No, okay. Oh, we didn't look at the manticores up here yet. According to Greek mythology, there's a creature who can turn someone into stone. Yep, but that has to be a real creature. This is a statue head. Wouldn't that have also turned the crow and us into stone? Oh, it, maybe it's a vampire. I don't know. And I stole the crow. Manticore stinger. What? Just so we're clear here, I am literally doing the first weird thing that comes into my head with these items, and over 50% of the time it works. I, I have no idea what that is supposed to be. I assume it's to get this. No? Okay, well the bird is to get this. Why is that crow helping us? It's a tiny little ship. There's no one at the steering wheel. Okay, well the tiny little ship needs someone at the steering wheel. Why can't I use that to get that? She needs another thing of sun and a earring by the looks of it. Good evening! We are playing a very strange game. Actually, this is the bonus chapter of the game we already played. Can I just poke that? Okay. So, now we have a fan and a screwdriver and a weird whip and part of the sun. And we have to cut this rope for some reason. If I cut the rope, won't he just stay up there? Don't I have to pull on the rope? And then over here, part of the coffin broke off. I can collect water in something. I need to move these rocks and this dirt. Use a screwdriver. You could use your darn hands in the dirt. That is loose soil. You are not breaking ground. We do not need a shovel. The fan. Okay. I Can I go backwards? Oh, okay. I can still go back here. I was confused how any of that was going to help me. Alright. I don't think I need to go back this far, though. I am here. Oh, I'm still here. Okay, maybe I don't need to be back here. Where do I need to be? I need to be here. Uh-huh. Where did they leave their key? They left it. Over here. Right there, they left their key. Why can't I throw that at it? Yep, 
I'm in the right spot. All right. Yeah. If I could do that, why can't I get the darn net? Hmm? Also, I just broke that statue. That wasn't very nice. Now I have a scythe and a coin. I guess I can use this to cut the rope. No, no, that rope was attached to the bottom. Look, it's still here. You can see it because they didn't do the animation right. It's attached to here and there, and then it was sitting there. If I pulled on this rope, it would pull the thing down. Cutting the rope would do nothing. Who's Lupin, this guy? Stop. You don't realize what you're doing. You can't stop me, you fool! I possess the most powerful relic, and I'll do anything to end my daughter's nightmares! Again, I don't think Pandora's box works like that, but sure. We're lucky you came. I'm Benjamin Hoover, a hunter. I've kept an eye on Lupin for a long time. I had a feeling that he was planning something horrible. I rushed here and tried to stop him, but it seems I'm out of practice. Could you free me from these magic chains? Then I'll help you remove the barrier and go after Lupin. Okay. I don't know how to do that, but sure, why not? Won't that still be stupid hot? Whatever. It's missing the needle. It must be a door to a cache. I need to find a special pattern to complete this. Oh, there's a nail. Oh, that must be where I hang the pattern. And what's over here? A map. There is an X under the tree where I need to dig. I, I think I already knew that. Why did someone do that? What will help get rid of the barrier? I don't know. That is a good question. We could set the dude on fire. It's probably not very nice. Once again, I would like to point out to those who are listening I am literally trying the first weird things that come into my brain to figure these out. If that poker reaches that net and that whip thing didn't, I'm going to be angry. Oh my gosh, the whip was twice as long as that. <sighs> Old rusty chest is covered with dirt and seaweed. So wipe it off. Light it on fire? No, just wipe it off with your hands. Heaven's sakes. I've, I, I swear, I have never met people in my entire life who have this much fear of getting their hands dirty. It's ridiculous. And it's every single game too. Like sometimes it makes sense. Like I'm not gonna stick my hands in the water with the piranha. Okay, fair. I'm not gonna stick my hand through the window with all the broken glass. Okay, fair. But like some of it, like I'm not gonna dig up a little pile of dirt with my hands. Why? All right. No, I didn't think so. Do you need anything else here? I can collect the water. All right, I can collect water here. I need something to hang there. I need to get him out of the, ro of the chains. I need a paper for that. And that needs a needle. Oh, that's the key for the... I'm an idiot. Here we go! Jeez Louise. Alright, let's see. Rope. Shovel. Bucket. Wire. Axe. Layout. That's this. Protractor. Wood plan planner planer pla 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 there's a sledgehammer oh there's the planer hand drill 
of vice and a wrench. Where's the axe? Axe, 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 axe. axe. There it is. He's hiding behind the saw. Dynamite! Yay, what do we get to blow up? Do we have anything we need to blow up? Not yet, I don't think. We could blow up this lady, but that seems kind of mean. She just needs some stuff. We could blow up. We could blow up the chest. Uh, I don't think we need to blow Can we blow this up? No. All right, we probably don't need it yet then. But that didn't actually help us unless I can blow him up. Nope, okay, I was really afraid that was gonna work. I need a compass needle for that. Where am I supposed to be? I'm supposed to be in the front yard. Oh, can I blow up the rocks? Why do I wanna blow up the rocks? Don't I just wanna dig here? Also, there was a shovel in that cart that I could have used. That's not how dynamite works. That was so much dynamite. That tree would have a hole in it bigger than it already does. <laughs> Coal with paper. Stick brush. Is that for this? Okay, good. I'll have to dig deep to find what's hidden here. Yeah, I know. No, a stick brush. You know, that thing. That's a stick and a brush. Uh, did I need to brush? Oh, I know what I need to brush off. I need to brush this off. Because heaven forbid I get my hands dirty. I have to pay a special toll. If this is a coin-operated treasure chest. <laughs> this game is so goofy. Okay, the treasure was in the treasure chest. That at least makes sense. No, I don't need these. Let go. I need these guys. There we go. Wait, that isn't releasing the pickaxe? How do I release the pickaxe? Maybe I don't need the pickaxe. No, because I can still go over here. Sands of time slip right through her fingers. Okay. Anti-magic hammer? Sure, why not? And this is missing its finger guards, and I need paper for that, and I have scissors. Wait, didn't I need scissors somewhere? Oh, maybe not. Did I use the hammer on that? Am I gonna hit this dude with a sledgehammer? Yep! <laughs> oh, you're Seymour Olsen's son. I'm glad you've decided to follow in his footsteps. We fought evil together. Here, use this lamp to break the magic barrier. <laughs> Thanks. Please, stop looping before it's too late. I need to go get some rest. Take care of yourself. Oh, for heaven's sakes. So I'm just gonna hang this here and it's gonna make that go away, huh? Sure. It's a magic-sucking lantern, and I guess I'm going to leave it there. What the heck? Yeah, see you later. See you on the flip side, even. Wow, that was really pathetic rope. Oh no, it's a monster. What can dissipate black magic? How about that lantern at the top of the stairs? Oh no, it's a dead dude. Skeleton looks like he was holding something. It actually kind of looks like he was holding a sandwich and trying to eat. But that's probably not... I mean, that's hopefully not what he was looking for. Water will help me here. I should trace these symbols so I don't forget them. And I need a skull. Okay. Um, and I have an empty flask that I can get water for. This is slightly... I was actually going to say less convoluted than 
the other part of the game, but I don't know about that. Now, wait, I went the wrong way. Now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see, what is this nonsense? Ah. Weird. That was very strange. Wait, what? I was there. Right there. Oh, do I need to trace the symbols first? Really? That's not tracing. That's drawing. But that's fine. Wow, that looks cool. What is that? An empty sensor. Okay. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Don't know what my dude was holding. Probably needs a sensor of some sort full of stuff to get rid of the evil Uzi Wetsits. What do I need a cane for? Oh, is this for over here? Okay. This is interesting. No. I think it's the basement, but yes. The water chest that everyone has in their basement. Underneath their portrait of whatever was there. I think a witch. What is that? Rivets. Someone closed a box of rivets in... Rivets. Rivets. In the coffin in the fountain. Why? Also, you can't just put rivets in. You have to squish the other side or they just come out. I love fish frogs. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want a gauntlet? Why did that work? What is going on? Skeleton looks like he was holding something. Well, I mean, now it looks like he's got a gauntlet in his mouth. Was it the cane? This house is crazy. <laughs> okay, sure. Also, once again, there was a shovel in the shed. Matter of fact, I can see it. It's right there. That's the bottom of the shovel and that's the handle. Just so we're clear. I did not see that coming either. What is this? A magical recipe and... Oh, it's the little dode. Dode. The little dude for the boat. There he is. And this must be his wheel. Oh, he's a skeleton. Okay. And I guess you get the hourglass. What was that? Herbs. How is she holding herbs and a pickaxe? All right, I have a magical recipe. Am I done over here? I think I'm done over here. And I think I'm also done out here, yes. And I'm also done in here. So we must be moving to the next place now. Nope. Oh. Magic recipe. Okay, I need some of this. I don't know what that is. These look like flowers that grow in my yard. They're a weed, but I don't know what kind. Sort of kind of looks like milkweed, sort of kind of. Also not going to bring the incense with us. Is it mousy? All right, let's see. We have a ship and a map or a paper, a hand and a hourglass, a lizard and fire and an angel and music. Okay, so we need a watch. 
fist watch. And a salamander. Where is a salamander? There's a dragon. Yeah, that would have been better as a salamander. And a boat. A paper boat. A wagon. And a horseshoe. Ha 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 ha. And a flower water? Perfume, maybe? Maybe a flower. Oh, a water lily. And an eye feather. Mask? Oh, that was a stretch. A collar shell, like a pearl necklace. A bird rainbow, a parrot? That wasn't even a very colorful parrot. A pencil sharpener, there we go. A diamond ring. A voodoo doll. What's the angel music? And your mousy. Angel music. A harp? Okay. What just moved? I wasn't paying attention. Oh. The boogeyman seal. How come it's a skull? His face doesn't look like a skull. He's got that weird mask thing. Hey, please help me. Lupin imprisoned me here several months ago, and I can feel I'm dying. He's trying to summon the boogeyman to end his daughter's nightmares. I'll help you stop him if you free me. Fair. I need to find the crank. This is some basement. Oh no, more dirt. Whatever will I do? That feather is not going to be any better at cleaning anything than my hand. Matter of fact, it would probably be worse than my hand. Here's mushrooms. I wonder if my accuracy is up to snuff. I wonder if I could hit it with a pickaxe. Somehow I don't think that would have enough force. Yeah, I know, right? They have a lot more characters in this game than the other one did. Lots of dead people in this place, too. Dear Irene, we were so naive to believe Lupin, who has been using us. He knows all our fears and exploits them to nourish the Lord of Fears. He needs the Box of Fears to summon the Boogeyman to our world. I pray he fails in his mission. Well... You definitely did not get out ahead in this one. Wait, I can't use the chisel there? Why not? Uh oh. My fingers don't provide a good grip? I guess it's some kind of clue. Okay. A brisk gust of air should extinguish the torch. You mean like going <laughs> like that? Oh, there's birdies down there. And a moon. Okay. This is the skeleton from that first scene in the game where he sticks his fingers through it and pulls it up and our note is in there. That is the exact same asset. Except he was wearing a hat. <laughs> Cheaters. I hope the key is lying around nearby. Eh, probably not. I mean, I have a file. I could file her out. Da, 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 da. Am I done over here? Did I finish everything in this side? I think so. Yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Okay, so he needs his scythe. I'm done over there. I need a key to get her out. I need a crank for this. Can I use this as a crank? No? What about that? Ah! And now I need to file through this, I assume. No? Someone could lend me a hand here? Really? What is that? Magnesium and an, a gem eye. Okay. 
and bellows. I'm not entirely sure that would work. These vines look easy enough to cut. If I had anything to cut them with, do I? File? That's not really how that works. What is this? A broken flash powder lamp. Okay, I literally have no idea how these work, but I'm pretty sure they're not wound by keys like that, but I honestly don't know. So, that could be the correct way. I'll use the... Okay. Okay, I didn't want to cut through all of them, just one of them? Wow. Huh. Okay. Now I have a middle rod, a flash powder lamp, a heavy torch, and a chisel. Like, he can't rest in peace without his scythe. Okay. My fingers don't provide a good grip. Any number of these things could work. I don't know what that's for. Vines look easy enough to cut. Okay, I'm lost. What am I supposed to be doing? Such thick roots can only be sawed apart. Well, that's great. Am I... Am I actually going down there? Okay. Say cheese. When were cameras invented? So I'm pretty sure this was supposed to happen before cameras. Okay. Oh, I hate this puzzle. Okay. Um Figured it out. First try. Ha ha! What on earth? Oh, jeez. Alright, what do we got over here? We're missing a head. Hey, that's the evil mask! Perhaps I can chisel it loose. What is it? Once again, making tons of noise right near the baddies. The second signet ring has been removed. How do I get rid of the bars? Well, I could totally saw through them with the chisel, but or the file, but you made me get rid of it. Forceps. A rod would be helpful. Okay. Oh no! Please, <laughs> missing teeth. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. <laughs> A harpy! Harpies are half women, half birds with a hideous appearance. They kidnap children and steal people's souls. Silver is deadly to them. I actually don't know what harpies are weak against. Oh, these are the places to put the masks. Yet they seem to use silver as like an end-all be-all in this game and you're right i'm pretty sure like it's not the thing that kills everybody yeah so he goes over here i don't know why we're doing this but this is a decorative pommel and a broken ritual dagger Oh. We gonna stab the dude? Seems kind of rude. I have the scepter that can break the protective field. No, I don't.
I have the scepter that can break the protective field. No, I don't. I guess we're not stabbing him. Oh, forceps, sure. Probably could have used something else, but that's fine. Huh. Rotate both the needles to positions that best compromise each symbol depicted below. Like in any particular order? Oh, 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 I get it. There's four of those. Ha 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 ha. Okay. And there's three of those. It's a signet ring and a saw. Why do I need to saw these roots? Oh, there's a mask under there. I might be wrong, but probably bringing all these masks together is exactly the wrong thing to do in this particular case, right? Like, aren't the masks bad? Last time I checked? Interesting. Am I just moving stuff around at random? Yes. Okay, there's a beetle bug. And a rose. And a cauldron. And a scorpion. And a star. That looks like a dragon ball. And... What is that? A canteen. And... A monocle. Oh, there's the comb. There's the bracelet. Do I need any of that? No. Yeah, there's the candle. So I need a torch. Ah, oh, there's a torch and a monocle. Is that it? Yep. Ooh. Cage key! That's a good place to hide a cage key. Thank you. I'm Irene, the owner of this mansion. Lupin wanted to use me for the ritual, but it seems I wasn't the right choice. Please, stop him before he releases the boogeyman from Pandora's box. The hunters once locked Pandora's box with the ceiling talisman. You'll find it in the altar room. Take this to break the barrier. Hurry. I'd better run while I've got the chance. Why did she have that in her cage? Wouldn't that be something he would have taken away from her? Like, because it could defeat him, for example? Let's put the skeleton on here, and then she must be the witch. Or the banshee, rather. What else do I need? Oh, there's a coin. Ceiling Talisman Park. Ceiling Talisman Magic Scepter. Alright, here we go. Lord of Nightmares! I fulfilled my part of the deal! Now, return my daughter's peaceful sleep! You're a fool. It's me who sends your daughter's nightmares. Duh. No! Damaged Pandora's box. <laughs> I can just take meds for nightmares. You opened it. That's exactly the opposite thing you want to do. Whoa, psychedelic man. What are we doing? Use the green rune that bears a different symbol than those in red to defend yourself. Oh. This one. Okay. Not that one. Not that one. This one. 
Okay, not that one. This one. No! Boy, you're a wimp, Mr. Boogeyman. Thank you for saving me. You're the most courageous man in the world. I'm married. Thanks. What about my wife? Or was- No, that wasn't my wife. Was that my wife? That was my wife. What happened to the other lady? Ugh. We never did see the daughter, you're right. There was all kinds of- No, I don't want to do that again. No, 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 no. I wanted to see if we got any more of these. Oh, we got the mermaid. Okay. Spirits of rivers, meadows, and forests looking like young women with fishtails. Mermaids usually wear thin and transparent clothing. I think they normally don't wear clothing at all because they're mermaids and they live in the water. Oh, it's a phoenix! This bird looks like an eagle with fiery feathers. If a phoenix dies, it rises from the ashes. A phoenix feather is a symbol of eternal life. They don't look like eagles. They kind of look more like pheasants, kinda. Sorta. And a fairy, a tiny beautiful creature that often looks like a young woman with butterfly wings. Well, the girl ones do. They live in groups and spend their free time playing, singing, and dancing. Fairies are fairies are almost always friendly to people. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I hear the flap flap again too. All right, I think we can be done with that. I have no idea what that noise is. It's not coming from anywhere in here. Oh, it's coming from over here. It's not a flap flap, it's a poof poof. I thought that was a sound effect for that particular room. I didn't realize it was from the menu screen. Well, it sounds exactly like something big flapping its wings and it's annoying, so let's go. Goodbye. Yeah, so the bonus episode of that game was like a third of the main game, I think. Maybe, it might've been longer than that. Yeah, if we did not play for very long, the, the first game, I wonder if the other two games that I got are going to be just as short. Because it's Tuesday, we might actually be able to get the other two done. I'm glad that you agree with me, because I thought it was just me. And I wasn't even skipping all the puzzles. Like, I skipped a butt-ton of puzzles in the first game, and this game was still shorter than that one. So, weird. Yay, I'm right. Hooray. Okay, so, the next game we're going to play... Since we finished that one, which I was kind of surprised about. I thought we were going to need a couple more days on that one. Okay, so the third one is Cursed Family. And that one came out a year ago in 2020. And then the last one that just came out this month is Behind the Door. So we have Cursed Family and Behind the Door left. And I think we can get through both. If they're both as short as this one, we can totally get through them. Jeez, the ones we were playing before were super long compared to this. Or we're just getting really good at these games. That would kind of be sad. <laughs> and then when Halloween is over, we will go back to Haunted Hotel. And I'm going to start Mystery Case Files. And I don't know, maybe we'll do another weird random one in there at some point. But for the moment, I guess I'm done. And that was kind of surprising, though I have been playing for an hour and 40, so I guess it wasn't a short episode. But my name is Fate Touched, and I will see you later. Bye!